Hey, welcome this morning to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke 22, verses 47 to 48. Let's see what happens. And while he was still speaking, behold, a multitude, and he who was called Judas, one of the twelve, went before them and drew near to Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? So this is the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus has finished the praying part, and the mob has now come, and this is going to be the arrest of Jesus these next couple of days. And here's Judas. He's there with the crowd, and what are they going to do? Uh, they're there to take Jesus away. You cannot have truth being told uh, without control. If you're going to control your own truth, if you're going to set up your own truth, you cannot have somebody like Jesus running loose. Of course, Jesus is the truth himself. And so here comes Judas, and it's going to be a very personal betrayal. Judas comes up, and you might have seen pictures of this years ago, or maybe maybe right recently, but I remember years ago when I was a child, there were pictures on the television of of Hebrew people and Arab people embracing each other on TV. It's a Middle Eastern greeting, and they embrace each other, and they give each other a kiss on the cheek, and it's all real peaceful. But yeah, they were out blowing themselves up the day before that. Uh, this is this Middle Eastern greeting of uh, coming and you kiss the other person on the cheek. And so uh, here's Judas, and he comes to betray Jesus, and Jesus calls him out. He says, Judas, have you come to betray me with a kiss? Judas was one of the inner circle, one of the twelve, and a lot of times we who are close to Jesus, sometimes we are ones who would be quite ready to betray him, God forbid. But here's a case where that's what we have going on here. It's the betrayal, and Jesus is being betrayed by those who were the closest to him, those who were in his inner circle. You and I, lesson for us, be careful. We want to be careful that we are not betraying Jesus. Judas made a bad decision, and now he's following it through, and he's going to betray him. Jesus is going to be arrested. There'll be a melee here, and then Jesus taken away and then crucified. But it should have never happened. Judas should have sided with the truth instead of siding with the people who are suppressing the truth. Romans 1 verse 17 tells us that God is angry with those who are suppressing truth than our Lord. And so when you suppress Jesus or one of his followers, you are suppressing truth. And you will reap uh, an outcome from that that you won't want to meet later. But here is this betrayal. I hope that you and I are close to, to Jesus. I hope we're not betrayers. I hope that we are on his side and would stand for truth no matter what. Because what else is of value? How is any lie of any value? But Jesus and his truth always is of the fullest value. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be close to Jesus. Help us to be close to you and your Holy Spirit. May we stand for truth. Even though the mob comes for us, may we be right and may we be faithful. Thank you that Jesus did not fold and bend and turn plastic and turn weak and noodly when he came the mob approached him. He stood for truth all the way from beginning to end. Help us to have the same spirit as Jesus, Lord. Even though we pay a little penalty in suffering, we will reap an eternal reward. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus died for you and I, and we can trust ourselves to him fully. God bless you today.